Well, this spring, our crew at Eastman's had the opportunity to test a wide variety of brands of footwear. And in recent years, we've really kind of fallen in love with a super lightweight footwear category. Uh, we still wear our mountain boots in certain scenarios, you know, on high country mule deer hunts, sheep hunts, and, and, and some guys have even gravitated towards the lightweight footwear in those, in those uh, scenarios as well. But there seems to be the need for kind of a mid-weight boot category, and there is one. It's not like we're invent, reinventing the wheel here. And so what we did is we sought out boots from some of the major manufacturers, including Loa, and we're going to show you a closer look at the Loa Baldos today. Down to just about freezing. Now that's spelled B-A-L-D-O, and then the GTX at the end of the name simply stands for Gore-Tex. They're fully waterproof and breathable, like all Gore-Tex um, apparel and uh, footwear is. But one of the things I really wanna make sure that, that everybody knows about Loa, Loa has a really good reputation uh, for two things. Number one is they're really uh, friendly to people with wider feet feet or wider foot knees or wider footwear knees is what I'm trying to say, but yet also comfortable with those with narrow feet. Now I have narrow feet and so I was a little apprehensive to test the Loa's out. I was thinking that maybe I'd be better off testing some of the other uh, boot manufacturers out, but I decided to go with the Loa. I wanted to get to, to know them better and I was, I was really pleasantly surprised that even though they're considered a bit of a wider boot, they were, I was still able to lace them up tightly and they fit great on my feet and I could move quietly and not stumbling around in the field. We tested them out a lot in the spring during uh, turkey hunting in Wyoming where it's really similar how we're hunting turkeys to how we're doing it with, with bull elk in, in the rut in September, where we're covering a lot of country, we're doing a lot of calling, you know, really early mornings, really late hours, and so it's, it's kind of a marathon, and we're putting on a lot of miles, so it's a great test for these boots. So the second key feature that, that Lowe is known for that helps custom fit the boot to the user's feet is their lacing system, and there's really three key components to their lacing system. There's one, they have roller eyelets. Those are incorporated ball bearings that are in the lower two eyelets on each side of their boots, at least on this particular pair. That allows you to snug up the, the shoelaces to your desired comfort level. And also save on wear and tear on your shoelaces because it's not dragging across the jagged eyelets. And you can really cinch those things up. I've worn lots of boots, I'm sure you have too, that it doesn't, they don't really allow you to get the toe box as tight as you need to. And since these boots have a more generous toe box, so you have more room and more movement so that you're not cutting off circulation in that part of your foot and leading to more discomfort and potentially blisters and other problems, the roller system allows you to really customize that fit. Then, as you go up, they have open eyelet systems, one open eyelet above the two roller eyelets, and then there's the X lacing system, which essentially the purpose of the X lacing system, which is really proprietary to, to Loa, is it allows the tongue of the boot to stay in place. So that tongue doesn't shift around on you and cause tight spots up in your ankle or where your foot and your ankle meet, which can cause a lot of discomfort, potentially blisters and a lot of pain or slippage too, if you don't get it tight enough. And then the boot is finished off with two more open eyelets on top. And so right now I'm gonna show you what this kind of looks like and how it operates. So I've got my boots laced up nice and snug. And I'm gonna show you a little trick too that I learned. I've been here with Eastman's for almost 10 years. And uh, shortly after I started here, Ike Eastman showed me a trick that he learned from one of his trail running friends on how to properly lace up footwear for the backcountry so that number one, you're not continually having to tighten and loosen for that all day comfort. What I would always do is I would tighten my boots or my shoes too tight and then I would I'd essentially start cutting off the circulation of my, of my foot and down to my toes and obviously that's really you know uncomfortable. And so what you do is you, you ball up, so here's your foot in your boot and you make a ball with your toes or like a fist and you can see that how the boot changes shape and what that does is it provides a little bit of um, relief after you release that and your laces are tight. And so you'll ball up your foot, you'll tighten it up, and then you'll loosen up your foot and it's almost the perfect tension. Once in a while you'll have to adjust it a little bit, just like you would a heavy load of equipment on a trailer or a four-wheeler. But with this system, with balling up your foot, plus with the, the roller lacing system and the X lacing system that Loa has, it 
essentially eliminates that problem. I was really impressed with how the system works. So you can see right now, I'm gonna, so my foot's flat in my boot right now, and I'm gonna, I'm balling it up. You can see my boot kind of puff up, and here's these two roller eyelets. And I'm gonna tighten up, do my crisscross on the first open eyelet, crisscross on the second open eyelet, which is right at that junction. So right now, the first zone of this two zone lacing system is snug and ready to go. And it's holding tight. I'm not pulling on it really hard. It's really solid. Now, this stud that's in the middle of the tongue, it kind of shows a crisscross pattern. And what you do is you crisscross underneath it, and then also over, if I don't hook on the other eyelet, over top of it, and then hook on the next open eyelet, and then on the last open eyelet, and I can feel it snug up around my ankles, I finish off tying the boot, give it a good pull. Now I release that fist that I've made in my boot, and they're perfect. I'm ready to hike, ready to sit in glass, whatever the need is. So sometimes if you, if you tighten up your boots too much, what's gonna happen is they're fine when, they're, when you're hiking. But when you sit down in glass, you'll start feeling that pressure because it's too tight for when you're just sitting. But with this system incorporated with balling up or making a fist with your foot when you're lacing it up, really eliminates that problem. So another thing that the, that the Loa boots have is features that I really liked and I was pleasantly surprised with is, so they're, they're 2.97 pounds, I think it is, for the pair. Now this is a full pound lighter than some of the more popular mountain boots that are this mid-height. The Loa Tibets, for example, are a really good pair of boots, and they're a full pound heavier. Now, they have a special purpose. They're really good for high mountain hunting, really rocky and uneven terrain, provide that support you need. But like the old backpacking adages, a pound on your feet is like 10 on your back. And so I just saved a pound in my footwear. That's like cutting 10 pounds off of my pack weight which is a game changer. The first time that I ever used a lightweight pair of, of boots for hunting, I was a little apprehensive to pack in the distance I was going with lightweight footwear for the first time. But I got to the site, I was tired, I took my backpack off, and once I got my pack off, I couldn't believe how good my legs felt. It's kind of a suede leather that's on there, and so they're a little more pliable than full grain leather, a little more flexible, which I like. And then also the, uh, the Vibram Track Light 2 outsole, it's soft yet supportive. So these boots are, are still a really good supportive boot. They're not super flexible like a tennis shoe type boot would be, but this Vibram sole really gives. And so what it enables you to do is stock in quietly without feeling like you got great big you know cinder blocks on your feet. And you can, you can feel the terrain underneath you. They're super quiet, super comfortable, real cushiony. And, uh, and you get, again, in addition to the lacing system, you get that all-day comfort. They're called the Loa Baldo GTX, which is Gore-Tex. So you stay waterproof. They breathe so you don't you know, over-sweat or over-perspire in your boots. And uh, I've just been really impressed with them. If you go to loaboots.com, you can check these out and tons of other boots that Loa offers. For more helpful tips just like this, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll send you updates to get more helpful tips on gear, hunting tips and tactics, full webisode series that we offer on our YouTube channel to help you become a, a more efficient hunter in the backcountry and also just provide some fun entertainment to give you that fix when we can't hunt during the summertime.